Hey boys and girls, moms and dads, thanks for joining us today again for another edition of LC Kids Online. My name is Nick, and man, I have really enjoyed seeing all of the videos and photos of you guys that you've been posting and letting us know how much you're enjoying LC Kids Online. It's been great to see. We've even had friends from Germany and Japan send us some photos and how they've been enjoying it as well. So I'm just, it's been so great to see all that. And as a special treat today, we have our friends from C. TV Kids joining us today. So give a little shout out to all you guys. That is the Centro de Vida campuses that we have here at Life Center. So nice to have you guys joining us today as well. So we've got a lot of fun in store and I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get right to it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine and he's going to come and tell us what we're talking about today. All right, now let's go. Okay, um, that's not really what we talked about when Nick said his friend was going to come and do the uh, intro, let you guys know what we were going to talk about today. So what he was supposed to say is, hey guys, we are going to be talking about how Jesus speaks to me. He wants to speak to you, and so we're going to learn a little bit more about that today. Let's Okay, everybody, let's have a time of worship together. We're going to stand to our feet wherever you are. Stand up, and we're going to praise Jesus together. Grab your whole family. Bring them around. Fill the room with praise as we sing these songs. Get up and dance with us. Sing with us. Here we go. Okay, well, yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, God bless. Bye-bye. 
Hey, bro, it's uh, it's noon. You want to go get some lunch? Chris, Chris, dude, I'm starving. You want to go get some lunch? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, uh, I was thinking McDonald's. Doesn't that sound good? French fries? Uh, you know, I was feeling something more like sushi or... Uh, sushi. Something. How about... Okay, get a filet fish It's basically the same thing. I mean, it's it's not really the same. Hey, hey, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, Come on. Bro, let's just Uber Eats. Uber when Eats? When do we have to leave? No, no, no. I've been wanting to do this thing where, like, we drive there and then, like, every time... Well, every time I have to take a turn, it's like, if it's a if it's heads, we turn right. If it's tails, we turn left. It'll be lots of fun. I, I already know how to get there, Nick. No, come on, come on, come on. Please, let's do it. It'll be a lot of fun. Fine, fine, let's go. All right. But you're driving. All right. I'm ready. All right, let's, let's go. go. You got your coin? I know you have the coin. Oh, Ooh, sorry. Sorry. I found here. money, hey. though. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> here, you can use this. Okay. Tell me where to go. Left or right? Head means right. Tails means left. Starting now? Starting now. Well, now that we're in drive now. Oh, that, that didn't flip. Here we go. One Come more on. time. Tails. Tails. Left? That's left. Let's go. Okay. Bro. I got to do it again. <laughs> Quick. We're about to hit this car. <laughs> Hurry. Left. Okay, good. Whew, that was close. That was awesome. I'm an expert flipper. What do you want? Uh, well, if, if, I, if my calculations are correct, we actually need to go straight. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't calculate for this. Turn left. Turn left. You know what? We'll loop around. It's fine. Okay, yeah. It'll be okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking Big Mac. Big Mac? Large fries. I love the fries. Oh, the fries are so good. And you're getting the filet of fish, so that's settled for you. I'm, that's what That's what you're getting. Ah! Hurry up, hurry up. Turn left! No! It's the wrong way! Nick, I told you I know how to get there. <laughs> no, we're following the coins. Fine. The coin will tell us. Maybe we can get another left. And well, we three lefts make a right. Is that what they say? Yeah. <laughs> left. Yes. yes. See, I told you. That's the right way. All we've taken, is, I mean, we've only taken like a three-minute detour. That's yeah, fine. Is all. Fine. Okay. I one actually one. can see. I can actually see the oh, golden archer's sign right there. We just need to go left right here. We got it. Does it say right? Take a right. It's right there, man. We're passing it. I can smell the fries Maybe, from here. <laughs> Maybe we're listening to the wrong advice. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm you know, really hungry. I think hungry. there's a sushi place up here. You're getting filet of fish. Stop. Yeah. At a light. What are we going to do at the light? Crank up the jams. We we need to get it right, don't we? Yeah. We need to get it right. Okay, flip that coin. It's a right! <laughs> you dropped it. It landed on heads, okay. I swear. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. There's another McDonald's right up here. Oh, come on. on the left. Left. On the left. Left. That's tails. Here we go. That's tails. Here we go. Come on. That wasn't a good flip. We're doing it again. That wasn't a good one either. Come on, hurry! Oh no. <laughs> if it's a right, we have to go on the freeway. <laughs> Is it a right or a left? It's a right. No! <laughs> We're going on the freeway. it's right there. We're going on the freeway. This is the second McDonald's. It's head. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, so, we get off the, the ramp. We can go left and we'll go right past that first, right past that You're first. Right. Uh, so we need to get a left here. And that'll take us right to the McDonald's and we'll be good. This is taking forever. <laughs> No! Oh, it's heads. Okay, third time on the freeway. Uh, we're getting a left this time. No, we better have a right because we. Have, oh, you already did the right. Uh, we already got yeah, the okay, right. We're good. We're, we're good off here. The freeway. Okay. Now well, we need a left. 
We need, well, we need, we're not off the freeway yet. At the light, we need a left, and that will take us right, right, directly to yeah, to the McDonald's, the McDonald's where we need to be. Like the McDonald's that we saw the first time. Like, however long ago was that? That was a long That's time not, ago. Yeah. All right, this oh. is. It's a left. Yes, McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. Here we come. Here we come. I still don't know what I'm gonna have. I got. I have had all this time to think about what I'm gonna order. <laughs> I haven't decided. Uh, we know you're getting filet of fish. Uh, Hi there. Uh, let's start off with a uh, Big Mac, please. And can I also get a McDouble? Um, could I get a medium fry? And how about one of those apple pies? You still have those? Yeah. Awesome. Um, you know what? I'm a little hungry still. Um, can I get two McChickens with no mayo and another medium fry? And my friend here, he would like to get a uh, filet of fish. Uh, That's going to do it. Thank you. It will be now. Those are my fries. <laughs> All right, I am so ready to eat this. All right, now let's play a game. Today, we're gonna play Speak Out. You have to figure out what we're saying. Here we go. All right, let's see if you can guess it. I want a fresh bagel. I think that was pretty good. But I'll give you another chance. Here you go. I want a fresh bagel. Oh, you didn't get it that time. All right, one more, one more time. I can do it. I want a fresh bagel. All right. Okay, now it's my turn. Round number two. Purple is my favorite show. Did you get it? Yeah, try again. Purple is my favorite show. All right, last try, last try. Purple is my favorite show. There you go. All right, I got a new challenge. You gotta hit out the shop. What song? What song I'm singing? Here we go. You call my name. All right, Chris, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun, so funny. Okay, um, hey, let's get into our Bible story for today, our Bible story and our lesson. But before we do, I want to encourage you to download today's um, lesson sheet. So here's what you gotta do. You can go ahead and pause, but I want you to go to the website, lifecenter.com slash lckids, and there you'll find a link just below the video, or let's, let's just below this video, a link to be able to download and print out the lesson sheet for today. It's the same link that you will have for family questions later on after the video, but go ahead and download that now, and then we're gonna get into our Bible story. Here we go. Hey everybody, here's today's Bible story from the book of Matthew chapter 19. One day, a large crowd gathered around Jesus, and he began to teach them. Some parents came, and they brought their children to meet Jesus. They wanted their children to hear what Jesus had to say. And as the children were coming, the disciples got in the way. They tried to stop the children from getting to Jesus. Hey, whoa, little dudes, get out of here, man. Jesus doesn't have time for you. Come on. Uh, according to my calculations, you don't meet the minimum age requirement for spending time with Jesus. 
Hey, um, kids, um, you need to get out of here. Oh, hey, little guy, you can't come. No, no, you can't. You gotta go. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. When Jesus heard the disciples saying this, he told them they needed to stop. Don't stop the children from coming to me. Jesus welcomed the children to come to him. He spoke with them and he blessed them. And Jesus wants to speak to you too. What a, what a great Bible story. One of, actually, one of my favorites because I love how Jesus welcomes the children to him. He welcomes you as well. And today we're talking about how Jesus speaks to us. He welcomed those kids so that he could speak to them directly. And I want you to know that no matter what age you're at, you could be 80 and you're watching this, or you could be eight, and Jesus wants to speak to you. There's no age minimum required to be able to hear from Jesus. He wants to speak to you. And when we look at God's word, which is really the place that we go, the primary place we can go, the number one place we can go to hear Jesus speak to us, it's right there in his word. It's the Bible. And when you look at the Bible, I want you guys to realize that you're going to see some things. Some of the main things you're going to hear from Jesus as you read his Bible. This, this first one is here, and it's even on your paper. It's number one is Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He, he loves you so much. I know sometimes we think about Jesus as, you know, off in heaven and doesn't have time for us here on earth because there's so many of us and he has to split up his time between everybody on earth. But really that's not the case. He can be with you and he's with all of us and he loves you so much. He loves, uh, he loves you so much. He cares about all of the things that are going on in your life. He cares about the big things that are, are happening as well as the, the small little things, the things that maybe you haven't even told anybody about that you, f that you feel nervous about or, or the little things that just kind of happen throughout our day. He cares about it all. He loves you so much. In fact, in Jeremiah 31, it says that he has loved us with an everlasting love. His love for you will never run out. That is so fantastic to know. Here's another thing that you're going to learn in God's word as you hear Jesus speak to you. You're going to find out that you can trust in Jesus. In so many days and so many and in so many ways, we kind of can feel like um, we're getting lost or, or the next things to do can be kind of confusing. And especially in the time that we're living right now with all this kind of COVID-19 stuff going on, all, all the virus things, it can be confusing and, and it can be scary. And here's what I want you guys to learn from God's word today, that you can trust in him. That he's, you, if you're carrying fears and worries, you can trust in him. Let him take hold of your heart and he can protect you from all those fears and all those worries. You can trust in him. And in fact, it says in Proverbs 3 that if you trust, you trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. He, you can trust him to guide you day by day. You can trust in Jesus. And, um, and that kind of leads right, us right into the second thing where Jesus' words will guide you. I want to encourage you, get to know God's word more and more. Spend time each day, each week, looking at God's word and knowing what it says. It will guide you through life. I want you guys to know that um, his word is like a lamp to our feet. Like if it's dark out and you don't know where to, to it really helps to have a flashlight or, or, or a lantern or a lamp. And as, as you're walking through that dark, wherever it is, that lamp shows you where the safe places are to step. That's what God's word does for us in our lives. It's a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. So you guys know that number one, Jesus loves you. Number two, you can trust in Jesus. And number three, his word will guide you. You know what we should do? Let's take a second to pray. Let's bow our heads. Jesus, thank you that you speak to us. Thank you that we have your word, the Bible, written down where we can read it and we can see how much you love us. That throughout all of the Bible, throughout all the scripture, you show over and over again, over and over again, how trustworthy you are. And God, I pray that as these kids know your word, as these families 
know and, and, and read your word more, that it will guide them through each and every day. Jesus, that's my prayer. May they develop a love for your word. Jesus, thank you for speaking to us through your word. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Do you know what time it is? Do you know? That's right. It is time for the scripture picture. play today's scripture picture. Take a look at the pictures and see what you see. Oh my, oh me, does that sound easy? Well, let's find out on the count of one, two, three. Well, did you get it? And let's find out. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, verse 105. And that's all we have time for for today. We'll see you next time on Scripture Picture. that you might need. Paper, scissors, glue or tape, coloring pencils, and whatever other art supplies you may want. Let's get started. The first step is to fold your paper to whatever size you want your bookmark to be. Then you're going to take scissors and cut along the folded line. If you need help cutting, you can ask parents or your older siblings. Then you can get out whatever art supplies you're going to use to make your creation. I'm going to make a monster unicorn, but you can decorate yours however you want. Once again, for Bible Story Trivia. Question one. What was Jesus doing before the children came to him? Was 
activity A, eating lunch, B, playing laser tag, C, talking to a crowd of people, or D, playing hide and seek. Question 2. What did the disciples do when people brought children to Jesus? Did they A. Help bring the children to Jesus? B. They gave each kid a snack? C. They tried to stop them? Or D. They threw a big party? Try to stop them. Question 3 Jesus told all of the children to go away because he did not want to talk to them. Is that A. True or B. False? B. False. Question 4. This Bible story comes from this book and chapter. Is it A. Matthew 19? B. Mark 4? C. Obadiah 1? Or D. Acts 12? All right, let's try to stump the pastor. We had another question come in from our friend Dasha, who pretty well stumped me last time. Let's see if she can do it again. The message, or the, yeah, the message, the question was, if I could recite Luke chapter 22, verse 1 through 5. Okay, so here we go. From memory, I, Dasha, I don't know what it says. <laughs> I'm sorry, I read it earlier, but I don't remember what it was. So good job, you're two for two. Good job on stepping me again. I'd love to get everybody's questions about some trivia, or rather some Bible facts that you know that you don't think I know. So Dasha, next time I see you, I'm gonna ask you if you know Luke 22, verse one through, one through five. All right, well this has been a lot of fun today. Again, I wanna make sure that you post some photos or videos about how you've been enjoying LC Kids from wherever or LC Kids Online from wherever you are. It could be around the world somewhere or right here in Tacoma as part of LC Kids Central, LC Kids Rainier, our kids from Life Center at the Sanctuary, as well as CV Kids. We've so enjoyed having all of you with us today. Again, if you post those pictures and videos, make sure that you are tagging us in our on our Instagram accounts. You could also make sure that you follow us on our Instagram account, Life Center Kids, for fun during the week, as well as some, we're gonna be starting some Bible um, devotions and some going deeper lessons about our lessons that we've taught, but just another step deeper. So make sure you check out Life Center Kids on Instagram for all of those. Okay, you guys, what a lot of fun we have had today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, you guys, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I almost forgot the family questions. You can download those at lifecenter.com slash lckids. They're right below the video here on the webpage. So make sure you download those and talk about them with your family, all right? Now we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.